Technologies for 3D input and output are rapidly advancing and are becoming more common in home and workplace environments. However, viewing stereoscopic displays for extended periods of time can cause eye strain, and fully relying on 3D spatial interactions can be fatiguing and may be less efficient for common 2D tasks. In this work, we present Hybrid Space, a simple modeling environment that combines the design possibilities of transitioning between 2D and 3D modalities to best support the user's current task. Hybrid Space was implemented using a 3D TV for stereo rendering and a motion tracking system for freehand input. The user also has access to a standard keyboard and mouse. The Hybrid Space interface consists of a 3D workspace, a 2D menu bar, and a 2D cursor. The 3D workspace can be rendered in either 2D mode or in 3D stereoscopic mode, depending on the current state of the system. In 3D stereoscopic mode, the menu and mouse cursor fade out. This avoids the parallax problem where occlusion cues indicate something is in front of an object, while convergence cues indicate something is behind or within the object. The entire scene can be rotated by clicking and dragging with the right mouse button. Objects can be added to the scene by clicking on the associated icon in the 2D menu bar. In 2D mode, a traditional 3D translation widget is displayed for the selected object. It allows the user to translate the object along a specific axis or within the current viewplane. In 3D mode, the user pinches their fingers and moves their hand in free space to control the 3D position of the selected object. The user can clutch by releasing the pinch, repositioning the hand, and pinching again to continue. Users can efficiently phrase together the two modalities. Coarse 3D placement can be efficiently performed with freehand input, and mouse input can be used for detailed access constraint movements. Object selection is accomplished with the cursor in 2D mode. Once an object is selected, it can be translated in either 2D or 3D mode. This allows users to take advantage of an efficient dual mode selection placement interaction, where they first select the object in 2D and then translate the object in 3D. A user study found this technique to be particularly efficient and significantly faster than performing the task only in 2D or only in 3D environments. Please refer to our paper for more details. Users can also adjust the light source for the 3D scene. In 2D mode, the light is positioned with a translation widget. In 3D mode, the light is positioned with a freehand pinch. A color widget is used to assign a color to the currently selected object. In 2D mode, a circle ranges in hue and value, and a slider controls saturation. In 3D mode, the color widget transforms into a cylinder extending out from the display surface. The height of the cylinder is mapped to the saturation value, progressing to black towards the bottom. The user can interact with this widget by moving their fingers towards the cylinder. As the user moves towards the bottom, the cylinder is cut away to prevent the parallax problem caused by occlusion from the user's hand. Pinching the fingers confirms the selected color. We explored several methods for triggering the transition to allow users to seamlessly work in both 2D and 3D modalities. An animation is used to transition between 2D and 3D mode. Guided by a study, the animation from 2D to 3D takes 1.8 seconds, while the transition from 3D to 2D takes 1 second. Please refer to our paper for study details. The most straightforward method is to use the Z key on the keyboard to toggle the mode. Another explicit transition is triggered by a custom-built pair of stereo flip glasses. When the orientation of the lenses cross a preset threshold, the display mode transitions between 2D and 3D. If the system is in 2D mode and a freehand motion is detected, the system transitions to 3D mode. The system animates back to 2D mode as soon as the cursor moves to support efficient access to selection. If the user's hand remains in mid-air during a mouse movement, the system will immediately animate back into 3D mode if an object or the 2D menu is clicked. This allows users to rapidly select in 2D with the mouse and then position in 3D with freehand movements. We also include two techniques for transitioning to 3D mode based on current operation. When the user initiates a scene rotation, hybrid space transitions to 3D mode, allowing the user to get a good understanding of the scene. Once the rotation is complete, the system animates back into 2D mode. The system also animates to 3D mode during 2D mode object translation. This transition only occurs if the object is being translated forward or backwards in screen depth, but not during movements in the X and Y screen space. 
As we have seen, Hybrid Space is able to offer the user a seamless work environment capable of harnessing the power of 3D gesture input and stereoscopic output while still allowing the user to work with traditional 2D techniques. We believe that our explorations have proved to be successful and offer rich opportunities for future research and development.